With today being National Signing Day, I thought it'd be cool to look at the team that had the top ranked class in 2021. To everyone's surprise, the Alabama Crimson Tide finished first in this year's rankings, but believe it or not, some people did actually see this as a surprise. A few months ago, five-star quarterback recruit Drake May flipped his commitment from Alabama to North Carolina, their class was ranked outside the top 50, and some people started to say that Saban was losing his recruiting touch or that the Tide were in trouble. But how did Saban and the staff respond, you may be asking yourself. He just went out and signed the best recruiting class in the history of college football, won a national title, and his players practically swept all the awards this year. Alabama football is here to stay, and anyone who thought they weren't just isn't smart and is borderline insane. Today I want to talk about the Crimson Tide's 2021 recruiting class, preview all the players and who they signed, and why this class is so historic. But first be sure to give the video a like if you want to support college football on YouTube, subscribe if you love college football, suggest another topic I should do next, and turn on post notifications so you never miss an upload of mine. Also be sure to let me know if I should preview some other recruiting classes from 2021, and now let's talk some Alabama Crimson Tide recruiting. But of course, after the intro. I've been having hood dreams, ball player. Rap star, Billy Ben Tank, BMW, I ain't got no black, call it dog, baby. Two twin dogs and make them shake it like a saw shake. Ain't make it to the league, but I'm still falling. I was born for this. Never thought I'd see the day when I could make it. Should I go legit? Last spring, the Tide were struggling, especially after May decided to play for Mac Brown and the Tar Heels instead, and the class was even ranked outside the top 50 at one point. But then Saban worked his magic. Alabama reeled off a series of commitments from late April to mid-August, five of which were five-star recruits in wide receiver Ja'Cory Brooks, offensive tackles J.C. Latham and Tommy Brokermeyer, and edge rusher Dallas Turner plus defensive tackle Damon Payne. Alabama was firing on all cylinders, filling all its needs at wide receiver and on the offensive and defensive line. And this is all while they didn't have access to meeting kids in person or having them have the ability to visit. Since they had lost May, they needed another quarterback, and they got their guy in former Texas four-star commit Jalen Milrow, and he has a really high ceiling in my opinion, and will play down the road. The running back position already has a lot of depth on the team for the Tide, but they do need a guy to emerge, but they added a late commitment who will help their class become historic and more dominant. They landed five-star running back Kamar Wheaton, and he could challenge for immediate playing time this fall, and after watching a little bit of his film, I'm excited to see what he can do. Since they lost Henry Ruggs, Jerry Judy, Devontae Smith, and Jalen Waddle all in a two-year stretch, the Tide will need a group of talented young playmakers to step in and make plays for them next year, and with John Mechie and Kayvon Billingsley likely stepping up, who are going to be the other guys, and who are the freshmen that could potentially play? Well, they signed four wide receivers in this class, including five-star Ja'Cory Brooks and three four-star recruits by the names of Ajayi Hall, Jojo Earl, and Christian Leary. These guys will get a chance to compete right away, and competition breeds talent, right? Probably the worst position group they had was at the tight end, where they only signed a three-star recruit by the name of Robbie Outs, and he will likely fly under the radar, but he could definitely be a good player, and knowing Nick Saban, they'll get the most out of him. The offensive line looks to be in great shape with five-star recruit J.C. Latham and then the Brockermeyer brothers, plus their defensive line is great as well with Damon Payne and two home state three-star recruits as well. They added five guys who are rated as four-star recruits or better at the linebacking core and one of the top junior college players in the country in the secondary in Kyrie Jackson. The secondary's crown jewel is Jaquincy McKinstry, who is a five-star recruit, plus they added two more four-star recruits and some athletes, and then an athlete by the name of Devontae Smith. Yes, I had to look at that again, they added a guy by the name of Devontae Smith, spelled the exact same way, and I wonder how he will do on the defense. It may not even be over yet, as the number one recruit in the country still could be eyeing the tide this spring, and four-star safety Terion Arnold is supposed to make his decision later on this afternoon on signing day, and he is crystal balled to Alabama right now. So what makes this class so historic, you may be asking. Well, they've now signed the top class for the ninth time in 11 years, and with Kamar Wheaton signing, they now have the highest ranked class in recruiting history with a team ranking of 325.95, which beat out Florida's 324.67 mark by Urban Meyer in 2010. They even went all over the country to get talent, as the Lone Star State and the Sunshine State typically produce the best college football talent in the country, and they nabbed some of the top players out of the top brands from those states. They have plenty of talent at every position group, and we will see many of these kids become stars and eventually make it to the NFL. I'm really excited to watch all these kids, and now that I've looked through the class, I definitely know a lot of these names and some of their stories, so I'll definitely be watching to see what they can do this fall and throughout the next few years. 
what do you guys think? If you're an Alabama fan, let me know what you think of this class. If you're a casual college football fan, let me know what you think of this class. And who is your favorite player or the guy who can make the biggest impact as a freshman next year? Should I take a look at other teams recruiting classes as well? If this video does well and you guys like it, I might consider doing that, and I think it could be a lot of fun. But before you go, be sure to give the video a like if you want to support the channel, subscribe if you love college football, and check out all my Alabama Crimson Tide related videos, including my, including my mini documentary about the redemption story to the 2021 national title. I hope to see you guys again soon, but until next time, peace.